talk about the important abilities you want for Widow. The grenade power attack is quite useful for Widow. It's a way to get emergency smoke when you need to. No, you cannot do it while your ultimate is going. A ranged attack, you're going to use the pistol shot. Um, if you use it with a macro, you can really shoot crazy fast. It's actually faster than the full auto shot, so definitely don't use the full auto shot. And then you're going to use the high caliber shot. It pierces, and you can, with this build, it'll auto crit the stupid damage. Against the, vi like the vibranium drones, it'll one shot them in the elite raid. And if you have like a damage buff, you can, you can one shot the <laughs> vibranium spider echoes. So, very useful. Alright. The important abilities for Widow are the heroic abilities. Definitely, Veil of Shadows is super good. With this build, you're going to get plus 640 heroic charge rate while it's active, which is uh, insane, obviously. You w I would say use this one. It helps the team. I, I noticed the uh, crit one doesn't work, um, this one, so... Just, I just use the duration one, and Shadow Gifts is insane. It says 35%, it's 100%. Every kill gets a one orb, and one orb fully restore all your heroics if you pick it up while you have stealth. So you have unlimited heroics as Widow. Assault Heroic, this build is going to be focusing on just spamming your Widow's Bite, and uh, definitely Taser Dart. Shock damage is pretty useful. <laughs> well, it's not pretty useful, it's insanely useful. 25% crit damage and 25 25% crit chance and 25% damage when they have it and battery damage. You definitely just taser dark, no question. Invigorating bite, yeah, you get 20% back on each kill, but it multiplies with your assistance perks. So you're actually going to get about 1.5 widow's bites per kill with widow's bite. So you can basically infinite spam widow's bite as long as you get a kill with it. And because it'll one shot basically enemy enemy. You can just go crazy with the Widow's Bites. Power Surge is quite useful. It gives you a small damage reduction, 20% damage bonus, and your range power attacks charge much faster, which is useful. Also, you get a different um, light attack, which is useful for hovering if you want to go over the platform phase. And then the power attack, um, the power attack, you can use it against enemies and it'll knock them into the circle like for the uh, circle phase in the raid. But you cannot use your smoke grenade while this ability is active. Just keep that in mind. And I would run galvanized, galvan Galvanic Bite because this is a Widow's Bite build, an extra 20%. Running this will make your Widow's Bite at 40% stronger. And I run Kilowatt. You get some extra stun damage. is decent. I would not run the extra 4 seconds. And the damage reduction one's okay, but I would just go with the offensive stun damage. Intrinsic ability, while you have overcharge active, you deal extra damage, and you get extra crit chance. So, that's very useful. And uh, here's the smoke grenade I was talking about earlier. If you do it while you're overcharged, it'll suck up all your overcharge energy and give you a smoke grenade that lasts like 10 seconds. So that's pretty good. Mastery perks. I would say go with the overcharge damage because we're a crit build. If you're a ranged build, you can go with the range attack damage. This one's okay, but I would say probably just go with the old damage. Um, headshot charge is easily the best one here. It's If you hit head, headshots, you quickly build up your intrinsic. So if you do the unload your pistol shot against enemies, you'll build up your, you'll build up your intrinsic energy in less than a second. You'll fully overcharge. I would say efficient overcharge, one extra second. These other two are basically worthless. Um, the grenade ones, you kind of pick whatever you want. Uh, I would say take the recoil compensator. You actually will get a bit of a kick if you use the macro with the pistol shot. And the reload speed is cute, but actually you're never going to reload your guns. What you're going to do is switch to a different one and switch back, and that'll instantly reload. And ideally, Switch your reload while you're popping a heroic, just time efficiency. Invisibility, extra, I would say definitely take the range attack damage one. An extra two seconds is decent. You could get the 15% critical attack damage. There's also the uh, 
crit chance, which is normally it would be better, but for this build, you're going to auto crit with your power attack, so the crit chance doesn't matter, and you're mostly going to be focusing on your heroics, so I just went with the crit damage, but this one is also worth considering. Utility, obviously heroic or takedown is the best one for every class. I would say take the 10% extra range damage. The stun and the crit damage, is this one is just not that good. And the stun damage is not insane. I would just go with the range damage. And this one is decent. You can slowly build up heroics as you melee guys. So for example, against the claw, you can maintain your heroic 24-7, your invisibility 24-7, just by doing your light attacks against him. It's something. Various gameplay strategies of a Widow. The full auto pistols, you're not going to use them because you can actually shoot faster with normal pistols. Here's the, I'm going to shoot with the normal pistols normally. But if you create a macro, you can really just burn through it. Really. Such as this. The great way to get this perks. The high caliber shot. Charges up and pierces very good. If you want to do it while you have your ult going, it'll charge faster. And basically, what you're going to be doing this widow is just getting your damage buff, spamming your assault heroic, and occasionally using your uh, your power shot. Also, as widow, you can uh, fly with the ultimate. I'll show that real quick. So we're going to activate our heroics. All the ults going over a frost. This is useful for the platform phase. I'll show basically just how to play. Just go crazy. Spam your assault heroics. They one shot almost anything. The elite raid, your power attack is very good. It'll one shot basically every enemy. Drones can one shot. Because of the vibranium. Yeah, Widow's pretty easy to play, very short with this character. Widow guide regarding the gear. The melee piece you want for Widow is a piece with uh, stealth assistance, which will give you 320 heroic charge rate extra while you have invisibility active. And how do you get a piece like this? It's just an RNG piece. I got this piece from a vendor, one of the hourly random ones. You can also get it from chests. And this piece, the stealth assistance, is not guaranteed to be 3.2, 3 320. It could be like 2.4 up to 3.2. Obviously, you want it higher is better. You want it ideally at 3.2, and you want a piece with good stats. This specific piece has pretty good stats. I, I'd, I'd like to have Valor on it instead, but... This is a very good piece. You want to look for something like this. And the cheese perk at the bottom is uh, pretty nice. It's when you dodge, you get like a 10 second invisibility cloak, which does work with your uh, stealth assistance perks. So you get a, you're going to get a plus 640% uh, heroic charge, right? for the dodge and it's just like an emergency backup thing to have but it's pretty nice and you get this specific piece from the villain sectors it has to be exotic you're going to be running a bit of villain sectors to get the four piece so you're going to get this piece regardless the range piece what you want is a piece with good stats and for widow i went with this uh, elite raid piece. The cool thing about it is it does both pistol shot and high caliber vibranium, which is vibranium is the best warm status in the game, but it's also especially useful in the elite raid. That's why I went for it. Also, the arsenal boon is very good. It's a 15% crit chance for everything. It's not just weapons, so that's really nice. This piece has uh, precision and resilience. Ideally, I, I want to have valor as well, but oh well. The top perk doesn't matter. And I think there's a a shock leak on vibranium which is decent but yeah what you want is arsenal boon the vibranium meteoric and precision and valor ideally if you don't have something like this you can just run a piece with precision and valor and a targeted spark target 
targeted buff or the power attack ones are pretty useful as well if you use the power attack on the pistol shot. So those are other options if you don't have this piece, but I, I would say this is kind of what you're looking for with Valor. The cheese perks, very strong. You get a small fire rate buff, which is, is nice, but this thing is insane. The range capacity, it says extra 12, but it, it's like a 90% ammo clip size for your all your different uh, types of the web of guns. So really, really strong. And how do you get it? You get it from the villain sectors. You need the exotic version for the bottom perk. And you're gonna you're gonna get this piece because you're gonna be going for the four piece. So don't worry about it. There's another cheese perk, which I'm not a hundred percent if it even works, and it wouldn't work because uh, I use a uh, mouse and keyboard on PC. But there's this agent's instinct perk, which I'm pretty sure it would work if you're on console. It gets you a little bit of extra aim assist, and you would get this from a priority threat sectors or the Rusaka protocol event, you're guaranteed to get it if you do that event. So yeah, this is definitely, if you're on console, this is something, something to get. You're guaranteed to get it from this, so don't worry about it too much. But let me know in the comments also if it works, because I don't have console, I can't guarantee that it does. All right, chess pieces. You have a few options for the chess pieces. I went from this discordant piece from the Elite Raid, the 15% Stealth Breaker is good and has Precision and Valor. Resilience is okay, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get it from the regular rate as well. And you want Precision, Valor, Resilience, ideally, and definitely the Stealth Breaker. This is just basically a, a stat piece, just makes you hit harder. Another option is a Vest of the Storm. And if you're doing a just really a build that focuses on heroic. This is actually slightly better than this. The reason I don't recommend it is because it, it takes a lot of work to get this piece, and it's it's good, but it's it's not insane. If you're if you were going to save scum the tachyon event, I, I'd probably go for you know a damage buff tachyon surge range piece, not not just a chest piece with good stats. But it is good. Uh, the stats are slightly better, and the potentiometer is. A little bit better if you're doing most of your attacks with the uh, light at the uh, widow's bite but it's something these are both basically just pieces that make you hit harder if you don't have these like a reactive damage buff or reactive defense buff with precision and valor and then either proficiency or resolve probably is the third stat is what you want to be looking for another option for the chess piece is the vanguard sleeve i really really like this piece the the issue with this piece is the stats are bad and it doesn't have any breakers, so it doesn't make you hit harder. Running these pieces over this piece is like a 30%, 33% damage bonus if you're running one of these pieces over this, which is a big deal. So you're definitely losing out on damage, but the resilience resolve, it's it's tanky. These so you slowly heal while you're invisible, which is pretty nice. And you get an extra rampant assistance. It's for overcharge, not stealth, which is a little worse. But with the new buff, it lasts going to be lasting 10, actually 11 seconds with the perk, with the skill. So it, this piece is definitely good, especially if you're focusing on spamming your heroics. And if you want to like tank the vibranium room in the back, this is definitely a definitely a piece I get. This exact piece you just buy from the helicarrier with. Close, 64 is the highest possible, so it's pretty close to where you want to be. You just buy it. Awesome perks, not so good stats. It, it makes you tankier. It's it's a good piece, definitely. Definitely try it out. All right. And, oh, yeah, there's the cheese perk where you dodge a little further. You can, the best way to get it is to save scum, the mega hive. You can also get it from the new villain sector that gives you hive pieces if you're lucky, but. Is not important at all, this cheeseburg, so don't worry about it if you don't want it. But if you do want it, you know, you can go get it. The Heroic 4-piece is going to be really, really good right here. This is going to be the perfect 4-piece with Valor, Precision, and Resolve. Here's the stat pool. Obviously, you really want Precision and Valor. Resolve would be your third stat you'd want. The top perk is another Stealth Assistance, which is 320 Heroic Charge Ray while invisible. With that in the melee piece, you're going to be at plus 640 which is insane. The middle perk is decent. It helps you get your overcharge, which helps you hit harder, which is nice. And the Berserker buff, you really, really want to run a bunch of villain sectors until you get one with the Berserker buff. It's really good with the pistol shot macro. And I mean, uh, damage buff's insane. 65% damage and 10% crit chance with the relic. 
the awesome thing about this piece is the specters error will apply to it as well and we'll show you how to do that with the cheeseburg the uh specters error you can also get it on the range but why would you do that when well, you can just use it easily you just get it from the vaults you can also get it from the red room event it makes your power attacks with your high caliber shot guaranteed crit which is insane i mean i, I shouldn't have to explain why guaranteed crits are good I mean, it's, that's awesome yeah it, it's just vaults it doesn't even have to be an exotic version easy to get the cheese stat relic i would say this is probably widow's best stat relic especially if you're focusing on uh, widow's bite your soul heroic spam just get two valor relics the best perk for her is actually the powerful breaker the crit chance one here powerful boon i think is normally a better perk but because you're auto critting the crit chance doesn't matter so i just take the damage and this is a piece you get from the relic vendor um i think it's legacy meaning you can't get this exact relic anymore unfortunately but if you have some of these definitely use them other options you have are this piece you can still get uh, you can get it for i think everyone except jane panther and kate so you you probably want two of these relics for every every character you have i mean the powerful balloon is insanely good and it upgrades perfectly 64 64 64 valor i think the relic vendor on thursday sells this piece so definitely pick them up and there's also a precision relic is an option it has that awesome powerful breaker and it upgrades perfectly and they sell this every saturday same thing with this relic everyone you probably want to get a pair of these for everyone it's awesome if you want to focus more on your uh, power attack as opposed to your heroics you're probably going to have one precision relic and one valor relic just the way the math works having two precision relics isn't worth it it's going to be a one in one in one or two valor relics up to you exotic relic same as everybody else you want the ring of nebulong with the damage buff cheese on it um it makes the orbs even better you know if you're stealth and you pick up an orb you're fully get all your heroics back which is awesome um this number is here is wrong it's actually going to be what it's going to be plus uh 100 plus 640 times 1.5 so it'd be you're 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 going to be like 11 times from your heroic orbs which is insane and yeah despite what it'll say it's just a 10 percent grip buff and it goes from 12 to 16 seconds for your damage but it's really good uh, i don't even run defense buff but you might as well cheese it on as well how do we cheese the relic perks and how do we cheese the gear in general just check the description i have videos that go over that very thoroughly all right champion points same as everybody else you really want to get these two crit ones they're really good these four are pretty good this one's okay this one's mad these are four are terrible stat priority um, valor and precision are going to be widow's best if you can go if you want to range build you're going to probably have one valor relic one precision relic and if you want to go just widow's by spam two valor relics but either way those are your best stats ideally you want valor and precision on every piece of course except the relics which are going to be triple stat Secondary stats, resolve, and proficiency are going to be your next best stats. Um, you want at least one piece of resolve, which your four piece can give you, and you probably want a piece of proficiency, but it's not insane with the power attacks because they auto crit. So, proficiency is not amazing for Widow. Resilience is the worst stat in the game, generally. It's pretty meh, pretty weak. Resolve. resolve is just much better. And might's basically worthless for Widow. You don't want any might and intensity you want one piece of intensity a second or a third is kind of a waste of stats overall how does widow perform the cool thing about widow is uh widow's the orb queen she produces a heroic orb every single time you kill an enemy while you're stealth which is going to be every single time you kill an enemy so it's just going to be heroic orbs just raining from the sky and it's going to help you and the team a lot her range damage is going to be the second best range damage in the game behind iron man with the rocket cheese so during the forge and the vibranium room phase she's really 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 good there you can like one or two shot the vibranium you can one phase the vibranium room you can you can one shot the vibranium crystals that pop out of the pillars in the forge i mean that range damage is good she's good against the eye phase very very useful class black widow she's going to one shot almost every enemy in the game even the echoes 
if you have a damage buff, so you can one shot them. Most likely you're going to two shot them, but it's just you know one shot everything and they drop orbs. It's awesome. You're going to be invisible 24/7. I mean, it's a unlimited heroic build. It's very good. Every time you activate your heroics, you're invincible, and because you're spamming your widow's bites, you you should never die as widow. You can run that chess piece if you want to like tank the room, but Black Widow is pretty much immortal, just like all the heroic builds, which is nice. Widow is not a flying character, which is a downside for her, but she can still get across the platform phase quite easily, so that's useful. Her stun damage is good, but it's not insane. Overall, I would say Widow is one of the best heroes that's not a flyer, up there with Hawkeye and Kamala. Four. A Daniel. Okay, uh, I'll get you to Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God! Ah. I'm not making any promises. Actually, say I'm. I'm making promises. I, I can do it. Just keep going, down. Oh, we got this one over here. Yep, we're good to go. Woo! Keep it down. <laughs> 